Hey guys, it is Friday and we're about to do what we do best and that is give you another episode of On Set. So take it, it's yours. Joining us today guys, you may know him as Ruzani from Tola. Yes, we are joined by the oh so talented and scandalous Fumani Shuluban. So please join in on the conversation. My name is Amuchidi and I'll see you on the other side. Yes. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Lovely We're intro, so, by the way. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you liked it. Your yes. your name is quite a tongue twisting poem. The funny from... enough, it's in school, in primary and high school, I've never not once met another Fumani. Really? I was always the only Fumani. So about Fumani. Yeah. No, it's got so good. The guy's toss also it means something. Oh, and in my language it means rich, govern or prosper. Which was definitely what you are. I know for sure. Definitely. <laughs> Own it, embrace it. Thank you for coming. No, Tell you, us about you. your journey, Tola. What else are you busy with? Good, I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing a, movie, I've got a movie. I've got two movies coming out on uh, my father's wall in August and, and September, I think. Ruby Kalushi is a barbecue guy, Solomon, Solomon Mashlamo. Oh, wow. And another one, which is a Hollywood film, which I will not mention now because <laughs> maybe I'm in the house. Oh, no. Know. So I'll keep it to myself. And, and on TV, I'm doing a uh, so cool in Patna on SBC1 and uh, on uh, tour on SBC2. Oh, fantastic. Yes. You've got quite a full plate. That's yeah, exciting. It's, it's full lot to what I would like it to be. Yeah, but don't overwork yourself, you know? <laughs> Mm. Okay, can, okay. Can we ever hold ourselves up? No, 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 definitely not. So we're sure about educating our viewers on, on being a thespian and being an actor. So let us know how important do you think it is to study towards your craft? Listen, it's, it's, it's very important because this is its own language. It's its, it's, its own discipline, uh, this craft of ours. Because people, by the time, they think just because they've got natural talent. Mm -hmm. Therefore, they can come in and do whatever they want to do. and and. The, the downside of it, they end up missing the mark. For example, we, you, I was trained in a theatre. I, I didn't do some formal training where I didn't go to facility or anything like that, but I was trained. Uh, Paul Crumble was our mentor at the State Theatre where he trained us first with this was our Bible based in Stanislavski. Yes, he introduced us to Gubrecht and all the other guys, Mara. We didn't really dwell much into, into those, but my choice became this uh, uh, method acting. Yes. And, Further going and in, in, into TV because he planted the seed in us that you need to study, you need to read, you need to educate yourself, improve your craft. That's how I did TV. I taught myself TV from the fact that he would show us art movies which were boring at the time. But uh, yes, no, no, terrible. <laughs> but now, we, the more you watch them, you understood and understood the craft better. And that's what I used to teach myself TV. Definitely. And angles and how to perform for a, a wide close up and, 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 and a media. Because when you ask people, for example, who are, uh, those who say they're talented, yes. you ask them, what is a medium shot? They don't know. So you see, that's why you have to go to school. It's technical. They, it's technical. You need to understand those because yeah. technique and performance, somebody you need to make those two. Yes, definitely. Mm. You're doing so well and I we're enjoying watching you. And we keep a short and sweet here on Unset. So thank you for coming to the show. But before you leave, we're going to play a quick game with you. You can't say no. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm. You can't say no. You can't say no. We're gonna play a game, okay? Just to show us, just to show us your I'm, acting, I'm okay? Bad. You're I'm... acting on the spot. Okay, it's an improv. Let's do it. It, it, it is I, quite the improv. I'm okay. Good. Well, it's a, it's a simple improv. It's called story juggling. Okay, let's do it. So what you do is you're gonna start a story, your own story. You can make it up. It can be about the grass or anything. Mm -hmm. Here, you just start a story. Okay. And while you're telling your story, I'm gonna throw words at you. Okay. And you need to include those words in your story. Wow. Your story needs to flow <laughs> though. You ready? Cool. Let's go. <laughs> Long ago in this village, in Africa, there was this big man who was a protector of this village. You know, so every, every time there was something wrong happening in the village, they knew that they've got their man who would protect them from any bad things would be happening in the village. So every day in the morning he would wake up. Carpet. He would, he would wake up and make sure that everything in his house and the villages are happy. So he would take his magical carpet and you know, fly all over the village to make sure <laughs> that his subjects and the people that he's ruling over are protected. Because they, they trust this man. Now at the far end of this village, there was a farm where they, you know, they plant potatoes. It, just, it is their livelihood. So he would always go there and check that everything is in order, that people are happy in the village, their potatoes are well taken care of. Sheep. There was this sheep that, that would always come to this uh, 
plantation chow <laughs> chow the what's this the 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 the, the, the potatoes and this man will always go with his magical carpet go down there and make sure that he changes the seats out so every time you go into this field of potatoes the monster that came out with such huge teeth <laughs> so big that it was the one bite one scratch from those teeth are you dead Jeez. So he made sure that every time he came out to this battlefield to fight these guys with huge teeth, he had a particular juice. <laughs> now this juice, all he did is just pour just a drop, just a drop point on these monsters and they, their teeth would shrink. Okay. <laughs> 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 Magic carbon <laughs> juice, potato juice, that was great, that was great. I think, I think that's one of the best actually. And we actually also have an award oh. that our viewers decide on. So yeah. Hopefully, hey, vote for me. You Let know, me maybe you deserve the Slayer Awards. But thank you so much for no coming pleasure, to the no show. Pleasure. It was such an honor to have you. I'm, I'm, I'm grateful. Gosh, I should have been here quite a, number, a long time ago. Yeah, yeah hmm. but you're here now. Thank you. And where else can our viewers find you? Are you on social media? Yes, I am on Twitter. I'm on Facebook. And on uh, well, Facebook is not a page because the other one is full, oh, unfortunately. Okay. But on Twitter, Instagram, and, and Facebook, it's all Fumani and Shilvan. So that's as simple as that. Awesome. And there's no com com complication. I'm Googleable. <laughs> He's Googleable, guys. He's Fumani <laughs> and Shilvan. And you know where to find us at onset underscore SA. And it's a wrap. Thank you.